without your camera. No, <laughs> not with you guys. It's so good to see you. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are y'all? Good. We can talk freely now. That's right. <laughs> we are all safe. We made it. This is all pretty hard through here. And then you keep staying to the left, it kind of puts you right in the middle over there. Ooh, soft sand, soft sand. Oh yeah, you gotta, no, get, soft sand? You gotta keep no. going through this. Keep, yeah, four wheel, four no wheel stopping. Drive. Yeah. Nice. I've already been pulled out of one spot. It's not so pleasant. So we also want, like, <laughs> um, we want to make sure that we're facing the right direction yes. for yep. the sun. Yeah, north is like, is that way. I have my we phone. Point me. towards the rock. But that's what they call that. I don't know what they call the centerpiece there. Yeah, that, that's that lone, rock. lone Rock. Lone Rock. Ooh, this is way soft right through here. Like, when we were here last time, yeah, it wasn't this is a little sugar right here. Oh, that's this might soft. be scary. That's, but I'm doing, I'm, I'm yeah, over steering, but, steering, but to just to, to see. Yeah. I'm still nervous. Not, I'm very nervous. Not cocky at all, but no, that's, I'm nervous, but I feel confident. Do you want to go right? Even right, right there. Right there I mean, left, yeah. <laughs> I'm pointing left to say right as I'm looking this way. Holy crap. Like, what about to straight ahead it's all empty it's, it looks super sandy out here well, let me go down and turn around and let's see i'm going to drive the jeep down and then i'm just not going to watch <laughs> well the sugary okay. sand is what what's going to go for a swim so <laughs> yeah. call, I, me, call me when the rig's settled i'm going to cuddle with giz or something you can listen <laughs> on keep your walkie on and i'll be like everything's good everything's good everything's good the, we're the, still moving we're still moving the thing is not to stop yeah yeah so we've got to just keep going the minute you stop you're going to spin yeah, I'm gonna put it in four low and then stop. I don't have four low in the rig. You I'm don't gonna put it four low in the rig. I'm gonna put it in six go and we're going. <laughs> <laughs> All six. I got new new tread, so we'll we'll see what it does. This no, is way the, this oh. is definitely no yeah, RV. That's, yeah. that's, that's why, why it's empty. wide open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a big big that, clue. The FBI that's would call funny. that a clue. Scout harder spot. So we yeah. got up through there last time because we were behind that. I don't even see a road. There no, is one. Well, you create your own. Yeah, yeah. I'm not driving the so rig. It's hard through this. through, through here, up through here. So I think coming like where those cones are, right through here, maybe. There's the a cone this there. Way. Oh yeah, you can see where they're trying to guide you. Let's take a look. So this is all hard. We can get, yeah, maybe, we can get over through that little tiny, yeah. tiny little white thing there. I mean, all these to... little cars right here are taking up good real estate. What about I was this little left of it. But look oh. at all the sand. But then there's too much sand here. Yeah. That's probably why these roots here are further left. Yeah, look at it's all sand. These are yeah. the lighter. We can get we can get through this part. It's not too bad over there. It gets soft yeah. up here though. Yeah, left of it doesn't look too bad. Stace, you got the spots marked? I want you to go. Because there's another uh, fifth wheel coming down. Yeah. Way off to the left. I'm gonna try to get a little bit in front of me. That's a good idea, because you want to be able to not have to stop. All right, here I come. You got this. All right, be careful. Show you 
I don't want to be too close to that dude. But I also got to be able to, Chad's got to be able to get behind me. No, I agree. I just was trying to give you a visual. I don't want the tires and soft stuff, especially the back tires. I have to look for Chad to back behind me by that white car. Well, I think he can, but, um, I don't know, I'm not the back of Hey, Chad, can you hear him? Chad just went offline with a different, he's talking, but nothing's coming through. There we go. Do I need to move up some? Yeah, just a little bit. We're going to make it back in right here. Should I just back all the way up and let Chad back in first and then I come around him? No, 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 you're good, you're good. Every time we stay at a cool boondocking spot, we get the same questions over and over in the comments. How do you find these really cool places? We've been lucky enough to stay at quite a few of these really epic dispersing campgrounds. So today, I thought I would quickly walk you through a couple of the resources I use to find these awesome places. There are a lot of resources out there that make it really easy to find these awesome camping locations. But no resource is perfect, and none of them have all of these sites listed. So I do recommend that you have several of these resources in your arsenal. We plan to explore Lake Powell with Chad and Chera from Changing Lanes, as you just saw. So once I knew where we were going, then I can start looking up all the dispersed camping or um, boondocking areas around Lake Powell. So let's jump right in and let me show you my steps to finding these campgrounds. First up for me is RV Trip Wizard. And the reason I start here first is because I'm probably already in RV Trip Wizard because I use that as my trip planner. I've been using it since before we even hit the road and as a trip planner it is my hands down favorite. Let's go ahead and type in Lake Powell. And you can see right outside Lake Powell is Lone Rock Beach. And that is exactly where we stayed. So this is the first place that I usually go. But unfortunately, RV Troop Wizard doesn't always show all the options for dispersed camping. My next choice for finding dispersed camping is actually the dirt. Now, although I don't use the dirt for uh, trip planning, I don't really like their trip planner. I do really like it for finding this kind of camping because really the dirt is one of the better ones. They actually started their app with uh, outback camping and dispersed camping so that's kind of their foundation so they really really do it well. Let's hit explore the map and then let's type in Lake Powell and see what pops up for them. So you can see they also have several options. And if we click on these, you will see, let's see what pulls up. This is Glen Canyon dispersing area. And here is Lone Rock Beach, which is again where we stayed. My next choice is Campendium. And Campendium is a great site. It's been around for a while and it is still free. So let's pop in Lake Powell. You can see I've typed it before. So here's Lake Powell. And then you can see that it pulls up quite a few around the Lake Powell area. You can see this is Lake Powell. So this one is Long Rock Beach. It's actually the one that we were looking for. As a final resource for you, I also use um, this book and it is free and low cost campgrounds. So it's gonna have the dispersed camping. It's gonna have a lot of options in there. I actually use this to find our campgrounds just outside Yellowstone, which were forestry campgrounds. And they were, were perfect for us. Now, once you find the location that you think you want to go to, make sure you read reviews. Not all of these are areas will be accessible for every size RV. 
So we always read all the reviews to see if somebody our size or bigger um, has had an easy time with that area. And then once we get there, we always detach the Jeep so we can check out the terrain before we take the RV back there. Now, I know what you're saying. I don't have a toad. I can't easily unhook the Jeep. I have a fifth wheel or I have a trailer. Well, usually there's a place where you can stash it off the side of the road so you can also detach. I would really, really recommend it. We've seen a lot of people get stuck in these areas, including Lone Rock Beach, because they just took their rig down there instead of scouting it out first. Now, like I said, there are a ton of resources out there for finding these types of campgrounds, not just the resources that I use. So I would love to know what you're using. So put it down in the comments what your favorite go-to is for finding these types of campgrounds, because I'm sure somebody is curious and they're trying to decide which one, which app, which resource they would like to try first. Now I know today we talked about RV Trip Wizard and the dirt and I have a ton of people asking for a side-by-side -side comparison. Don't worry, it's coming. It's in the works. I hope to have it out next week. And there are a lot of pros and cons for both the dirt and RV Trip Wizard. So hopefully after we review them, you can decide which one you like better or you may want both for different reasons. So that is coming next week. Now links for all the items we talked about today, I will drop them below. All right, that's it for these quick tips. Let's get back to Lone Rock Beach. Tara's pro tip for the day. Tara's pro tip for the day. The lady at the gate who took our money said there are new restrooms and that her tip was to drive all the way to the end and use the bathrooms that are furthest away because nobody uses them. I like that tip. Thank you, Tara's tip. That wasn't my tip. I'm just sharing the tip. But you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've been telling you how bad his knees are, and you're wondering why we're hiking down to Horseshoe Bend because it is three quarters of a mile. But thankfully, they have some upgrades, and this is all paved now, so it won't be on sand and uneven. Well, we're hoping uneven ground, so we'll see how well his knee holds out. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So far, so good. But I didn't want to miss this and have to be the guy that sits in the truck. Uh, while everybody's out having fun. Yeah, Phil can be a little stubborn that way. You. <laughs> you <can laughs> yeah. <do it>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's pretty cool. It is good. It's even better in person. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Tara's allowed to be in our videos. <laughs> yes. It didn't feel like I had my sunglasses on. <laughs> Major panic, Phil. What's I did. happening? I was like, whoa, whoa, what is happening? Where did my sunglasses go? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Okay. I just need. All right, we're back again. <laughs> Round two. Round two. Yesterday turned out to be. Yeah, not it really a dud because it's still beautiful, but the sun was right in our yeah. face. Sunset ish time isn't the best time. Yeah. So it's you're okay. gonna want to come in the morning. What a perfect, what a perfect way to spend the day. Just dreaming. Way to spend the day. Just honey do baby boo sugar be love me. Way to spend the day. Just honey. We checked another thing off the bucket list. We did. This is freaking amazing. Yeah. This, the view, the contrast and colors. I mean, I'm jealous because those kayakers down there make it look so inviting. I mean, look, they're, they're literally just. It looks like they're the just current. floating. Yeah. yeah. We've got to do that. Well, it is on the list. I don't know if we're going to make it, but we're trying to get reservations to actually kayak out, kayak around there. Yeah. That's uh, man. If you haven't been here before, Pictures don't do it justice. No. And if you want the best picture, seriously, you have to show up here at sunrise. So it's just peeking over the mountain because the sun is, even even though we came in the morning and it's on our backs, it is super bright. So if you see all those epic pictures out there, I think some of the best ones I've seen are on uh, Finding Our Someday. So find them on their Instagram and he just takes the most beautiful pictures. But he obviously showed up at the crack of dawn to get the best pics. <laughs> so that definitely I recommend that to you. So that's the only way in all these locations that yeah. you get those epic pictures is you have to be willing to get out of bed to do it. Yeah, yesterday we were here in the evening when the sun was setting and you just couldn't you just couldn't enjoy it because the sun was right in your face. Um, and every picture that we tried to take there was just yeah. sunbeams and glares. Uh, this is the time of day to do it. 
for dropping into another little scenic view here of the dam. Yeah, I think you can see right over there. Dave's point to it. Right there. Right there. Ta-da! There Anna. it is. I didn't want my big floppy hat to get in the way. <laughs> but this is the Glen Canyon Dam Overlook. So it's pretty cool. You can also take a tour of the dam if you want it. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to squeeze that oh, in. Don't you don't think the dam, but, oh, you don't I think don't I can make the hike? You don't think my damn knee will make the dam overlook? I don't know, because it's, oh, damn. All right. Damn. <laughs> well, we're going to give it a college try. Okay. So uh, it's stair-ish. Okay. Well, All right. look, I know how to drop and roll. Ooh, look at that. You, the dam. Look at the dam. No butt shot. Oh, I got, we got to redo it then. You can get my butt as much as you want. So. Yeah. Chad's good. Well, that sounds good. That sounds good. bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you play that back, it sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> A really short hike. <laughs> hike. This is a hike. <laughs> this is a really short. I can't even speak. What is okay. wrong with me? Wait. Okay. It was a really <laughs> short hike. It was only 0.2 miles down here, and there is a rail that will assist you um, from sliding and busting your tail. But I can tell you, in this heat, that rail was pretty hot. Yeah. So don't wear flip flops like no. someone I know. I told her this morning to put on her regular shoes or her hiking shoes. Does she listen to me? No. Well, this was not on the schedule. This was an add-on. Doesn't matter. We went to Horseshoe Bend and she was flopping but around in a flip-flop. But it was fine for Horseshoe Bend. It's paved. I'm good. I'm golden. Move over, lady. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I'm all done here. Well, it's about time. I've been off camera too long. we got to wrap this thing up. Oh, Let's my go. Gosh. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and over at our village. And we may be in your neck of the woods soon. You never know. So keep an eye out on and follow our travels on social media. See if you can figure out where we're going to next. That's right. Thanks again, and maybe one day we'll see you on, on the, the road. road. Can you see it? We got a beautiful...